How would you feel if you were plopped into a foreign country where you knew neither the language or the culture? Would you feel like this? I'm going on an adventure! Whoa, my feet are really hairy. Or like this. I excuse me. Oh, miss, miss. I'm just gonna sit in a corner and cry. Julia Child, the woman who taught America how to cook French cuisine, faced this challenge and grabbed it by the mixing bowl. I, I mean horns. Well, in this three-part series, we'll be looking at three awesome quotes from Julia, exploring the stories behind them, the life of Julia Child, and ultimately, discovering quotes that may just change your life. Hey, quoters, and welcome to Stories Behind the Quotes. Now, believe it or not, Julia was never interested in cooking while growing up. She didn't see the point of it. The reason being that in her upper middle class family in Pasadena, California, her parents hired others to cook for them. What's for dinner tonight, John? Sauteed roadkill raccoon sprinkled with fresh mosquito larvae. Ah, that sounds... Wait a second. You aren't John. Get out of my house, who are you? After graduating from Smith College with a history degree, Julia's original plan was to become a famous woman novelist. Or at the very least, she knew that she didn't want to be a standard housewife or a corporate woman. When World War II broke out, she worked as head of registry, handling secret material from agents in modern day Sri Lanka, an island country in South Asia. And it was there that she met her future husband, Paul Child, who she said, if it wasn't for him, she never would have had her career. Marrying in 1946 and living in Washington, D.C. for a time, it was in 1948 when they left together for Paul's new job at the American Embassy in Paris. Unlike Paul, who had lived in Paris and spoke French fluently, Julia knew neither the culture or the language, but she was determined to learn. Excusez-moi, uh, où est là? It didn't take any time at all before Julia fell in love with French cuisine and signed up for a year-long course at the prestigious cooking school, Le Cordon Bleu in Paris. What's funny is that she thought that she signed up for a six-week course, but boy, was she glad that she made that mistake. As she practiced her cooking, she realized, one of the secrets and pleasures of cooking is to learn to correct something if it goes awry, and one of the lessons is to grin and bear it if it cannot be fixed. So looking at Julia's quote, whether you're cooking a quiche Lorraine or you're just living life, Julia's quote applies to both. To correct any mistakes takes humility and a willingness to improve. God knows we've all made mistakes, big and small. And the least we can do is try to fix them for our sakes and for others. I doubt you would want to be the one eating that meal full of mistakes. This is a, this is a great pie and all, but next time you may want to use sugar instead of salt. But here's the thing, sometimes we have to eat that kind of meal, both on the dinner table and in life. However, once we realize that the damage has been done and there's nothing we can do to fix the situation, then as Julia said, grin and bear it because holding onto it won't do you or anyone else any good. Life is full of mistakes. So let's fix the ones we can and move on from the ones we can't. One of the secrets and pleasures of cooking is to learn to correct something if it goes awry. And one of the lessons is to grin and bear it if it cannot be fixed. And last but not least is today's quote question, which is, what is a mistake that you can move on from today, cooking or otherwise? Let me know in the comment section below. Hey quoters, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Now, to watch part two, all you gotta do is click in this box right here. And to watch last week's part one, click in this box right here. And for all you mobile users out there, those links will be available in the description below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.